So as we sit here, we've experienced the worst six months in the equities market since 1970. Um, and that's after a, a, a bear market rally in May. So uh, not, not a really good equity market. In fact, in June, the equity market was down another 8%. And the reason is pretty clear, the incoming data are deteriorating. Um, so for example, quarter one's GDP, which came out originally at minus 1.3%, is now at minus 1.6%. And as of Friday, um, that was uh, July 1st, um, the Atlanta Fed, this is one of the regional Federal Reserve Banks, they have a model that's been pretty accurate. And that model says that quarter two's GDP is going to be negative also at minus 2.1%. Mm -hmm. um, the New York Fed's model uh, says there's an 80% chance of recession. Now, usually when these Fed models get above 50, that means it's pretty well baked in the cake. They're, they're pretty serious. Yeah. yeah. So a recession is really defined by the National Bureau of Economic Research, um, but they meet only occasionally and sometimes it takes them a pretty long time to determine the dates uh, that a recession begins and ends. In fact, sometimes they don't determine it until after it's over. Um, so the markets use a rule of thumb. The rule of thumb is, if you have two quarters in a row of negative GDP, you're in a recession. And in fact, that 100% of the time that we've had two negative GDP quarters, we have had a recession in yes. the post-World War II period. So, so the incoming data is pretty bad. Um, we can get into it uh, later. Um, I would also say that uh, the media continues with this narrative on inflation, inflation, inflation. And the Fed is looking at inflation and the employment. And these are lagging indicators. What they should be looking at is what we're looking at, which is commodity prices, and they're falling uh, rapidly. Uh, even the price of oil got under $100, uh, I think, yesterday. Yeah. Josh, you have anything to add? Yeah, I would add. Again, we we talk about recession. Again, we're saying we're in a recession. We've been saying that for a little bit. Um, and you could say two quarters, but you could also look at it and say when uh, the forward earnings are starting to roll over, meaning they're starting to go down, uh, that's a significant sign of something. Um, that being said, uh, the depth of the recession is really um, going to be dependent on the price of oil. Um, because you had an oil shock recently with the Ukraine and, and, and oil shocks tend to bring recessions on their own as well. So we were in a recession going into recession and then we have an oil shock on top of that. And so I don't know, I paid uh, five, five, six bucks the other day for gas in my car. And uh, I think it was like 130 bucks, but um, think about oil is pretty much in every product out there. And so that should significantly yeah. slow down. So as oil stays high and if it stays high, then I would say, and I think we we're saying that the, the, the recession will get deeper and deeper. So why we're talking about recessions now, instead of inflation as a narrative kind of shifted two weeks ago, there's really no talk about how deep the recession is yet. And, and it's remained to be determined because again, as the data comes in, we'll know more.